have a really close finish, say there's a head or less between the finishers, the first four, you would call what we call a photo finish. Photo finish, photo finish. And then that enables you to work with your photo finish operator and you look at an image of the horses crossing the line and you have to split them and place those first four horses. If there's a head or less, it's normally quite straightforward to split them, but of course it can be a lot less than that. You can have a short head, in some cases a nose, so there's only about that much between one horse and another. And in some cases, of course, it's even smaller than that. It can go down to pixels, maybe a couple of pixels separate one horse from another. In some cases, it's just one pixel. So you'll zoom into that image and you'll be looking at one pixel and in rare cases, but it does happen, there's not even a pixel between them. So then it's called a dead heat, where the muzzles of two horses are exactly in line. And that makes it nice and straightforward, doesn't it? But of course, it's never like that. Horses get buried. You can't see the colours of the horses. You can't see the caps on the jockeys. You definitely can't see the numbers on these saddle cloths. So you're literally looking, especially at somewhere here like Lingfield, we get really tight bunched finishes where you can have at least six horses all on top of each other with a mirror image. So effectively, you're looking at 12 horses, heads are buried, and your job is to try and find those heads, find those muzzles to separate those horses. So not always easy. First, number two, Sundancer Girl. Second, number nine, Miss Dubai. Third, number eight, Marmalade Lady. And the fourth place, horse number five, Honrado.